This is what human lung tissue looks like. But how did it get from inside someone's body to under the microscope? Let's rewind. It all starts in the operating room where the surgeon collects the sample. The specimen is then put in a container with formalin and transported to the lab. Next, after being received in the lab, the specimen is examined during the grossing step where the tissue is carefully measured and described. It's important to understand the size, shape, and appearance before processing. The sample is now cut and put into cassettes for processing. After grossing, the tissue goes through processing. This involves dehydration, clearing, and infiltration with paraffin. Then, it's oriented and embedded in a block of paraffin on an embedding center, which keeps the tissue in place for sectioning. Now, we use a microtome to slice the tissue into super thin sections. These sections can be as thin as the thickness of a human cell. Finally, the sections are stained, often with H&E, to highlight different parts of the tissue so we can see the details clearly under the microscope. That's how lung tissue goes from inside the body to the microscope. Now, pathologists can analyze the tissue and make a diagnosis.